Starlets and welcome back to another video. If you're new, hello and welcome. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading regularly and we are going to keep it that way. At the moment I'm doing one video a week and we'll see where it goes. So in today's video I'm going to be doing four different ideas to incorporate into your grey nail set. I just wanted to add in on the end there that this video is not sponsored by anything that I'm using or that I mention in this video. So with all that said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are with the first nail. I did go ahead and buff all the shine out of the nail and I've gone in with a foundation layer using the Beatles Foundation Gel Base. And for the first colour, I'm going to be going in with the Beatles gel range again. And I'm going to be using this lovely grey and this white in shade 343, that's the grey, and 325 in white. And I'm just going to mix those together. Okay, so I've mixed the white and the grey together and I've ended up with this nice light grey shade. I'm just going to apply that to the nail and this will take two coats. And again between coats um, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that that nail is cured, I'm gonna now be going in with this super cute glittery color in 612 from the Beatles Gel Range. And it looks like this. I love it, it's stunning. And it will look perfectly onto this nail. Okay, so I'm just going to apply it onto the top section of the nail and bring it down. And then I'm just going to go in with my, you know how I like it, trusty off cut sponge and just dab the edge just to make sure that it's a nice even blend. Okay, and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for another 60 seconds. Okay, so now we are at this point. I'm kind of wanting to add a little bit extra to it. So I'm going to grab myself just a flathead brush and get these going on. Okay, so I'm just going in and just picking up a little bit at a time and then just gently dabbing it onto the top section of the nail and it's just going to give it that extra oomph of glitter because I love glitter, who doesn't? I mean there's some people that absolutely hate glitter but I'm just not one of those people. Love it. Cleaners hate glitter. Clean as hay glitter, <laughs> yeah. but it's fine, it can all be picked up. Okay, so I'm going to cure that in place 
and then I'm going to go back over that just to give it that extra shine from this one on top of it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going in with the gel polish again just to get some of those rainbow iridescent flakes back on there because I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in the lamp and then we're going to top coat that one. Okay, so I'm going to, I say okay so a lot, don't I? You're shaking your head. You're nodding your head. I need to stop. <laughs> so every time, okay, so I need to stop saying that. Right, we are. <laughs> and now. <laughs> and now we are going to go in with some top coat and seal this little easy bad boy up and give it a real good coat on there. See how easy was that nail and man it is glaring in real life more than it is on camera so you know that's one thing to kind of you know there we go that's not too bad oh my goodness so this is love mm -hmm. i'm in love in love look at that it looks like it's raining glitter over this nail it's your favorite type of rain it's my favorite type of rain yes i agree i hate rain but if if it was wait no i don't think i'd like glitter rain because that would just be messy could you imagine like it's raining outside and you turn up to work with just like glitter stuck to your face and could you imagine oh you need to have to shake with you have to have to, like, like shake yourself <laughs> and out of your hood yeah it'll just be everywhere oh okay so that one's that one finished that one's that one finished there's that nail <laughs> finished and a complete super easy start okay on to the next going in with our second nail i'm using the exact same gray that i mixed up earlier using the gray and the white together and the same thing two coats of this and this nail we are going to be doing some marbling onto it here we are on the second nail with our two coats Romeo done we are now going to go in with a long pointy detailing brush and I'm going in with the original grey um, unmixed straight out the bottle and we are just going to add this on and start mapping out a marble effect onto the nail. So I'm just going to start up here and this is just, you know, it's absolute nonsense really. You just kind of make it up as you go along and just ziggy zaggy your way around the nail. It may start to resemble something like lightning but if it's looking like lightning you're doing it right. So with that in mind Confidence is key. So we're just going to keep on randomly doing these little squiddly diddly lines here and there around the nail. So you've got to definitely know when when's the time to stop. So I'm going to say stop now. And we're going to go in with another brush and then just slightly blend some of them out. And this is gonna take a couple of coats to go, and we're just gonna keep on getting darker and darker and just get this going. So you're just gonna flick out some edges, not all of them, but just some here and there. Just to kind of give it a little bit more depth in places. 
Right, I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure now, and then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker grey. Okay, so the grey on that I'm using is the same grey that I've been using this whole time, and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of black onto it, and that is the 334 from the Beatles Gel Range Black. And I'm just going to literally be adding the tiniest amount to this grey. A little bit too much, then there's too much, then you're making black and we, you know, we want a dark grey. Not too dark though, because we're layering. So, yeah. Okay, so very carefully following the original lines that I did before, I'm just going to go in slightly to the side of them and follow them around. Not every single one, but just here and there. Just lightly going around. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm going to pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then for the last bit, I'm going to go in with some highlighting details with the white. Once that's fully cured and done, now it's to go in with the white. And you're literally going to go in with the smallest amount ever. And be very, very light with it because it is just a very slight detail to the nail. So again, we're just going to follow those lines that are placed down. Here and there, it doesn't have to be on every single area. And to be honest, you don't even really need a steady hand to do this. It would work out better if you had the shakes. So, yeah. Because, you know, I get the shakes sometimes. I just have like a really shaky day. Like those days I should just do marbling all day. Because I'd be a bomb at it. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for its final one. And then we'll add the top coat. And while it is curing, I'm going to eat some mini eggs. Right, going in with the glossy top coat. Finish this nail off. And I'm also going to show what it looks like with a matte top coat. So that's it in its glossy top coat in all its glory. And I'll show you what it looks like with a matte top coat too. And here's the nail matte. It's a total different vibe. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Let me know which one you think is better. The matte or the high gloss shine one. Okay, so third nail. I'm switching it up. We're going a little darker this time. I'm going to be going in with some black and the grey but we're going to do an ombre so I'm starting off with the grey base coat we're just going to add that all to the nail and I'm going to need two coats of this so once I've done the two coats I'll be right back right so I've got both layers down of the grey and now I'm going to be going in with this black and doing a black ombre. 
and I'm a little bit nervous eee! because you know black's kind of a, a harsh color to ombre it's it's one of the tricky ones to do so I'm gonna start it off small so we're gonna start it off way up there way way up there right i'm going in with my trusty sponge the power the trust i can do this we're just gonna blend 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 for my life and i hope that this works you just keep blending right we've got our first layer down i would say and we've also got a little friend right there. Remove him. Um, yeah, top coat this layer and then we'll be doing another coat of the black and then blend that. Round number two. Okay, 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 <laughs> that's that, we're going to cure that. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's where we are at the moment. I mean, it's not the best blend. I mean, I didn't ever say that I was great at it. So we're going to accept that nail where it's at and I'm going to be going in with some foil adhesive paper and it is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's, 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 that looks awesome. I'm going to put it on the nail. Mm -mm -mm. Disco party. It will make the ombre look better. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, okay, let's do it. So, what I'm going to do is strategically, I'm not going to put it all over the nail, or should I? No, I want shards, just random shards through the nail. So I'm going to add some foil adhesive glue onto the nail in sporadic behaviour and hope for the best. So we have a couple of choices of what to do with this glue. There are different ways of being able to get this to be, you know, working. If that sentence makes sense. You can either leave it for a while and just watch it dry. Or I normally put it in the lamp and cure it for 60 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try to figure out myself which side it goes on. I'm reckoning it's this side. So we're gonna place it on the nail, boop, and really push that in to the nail and give it a good rub all over. If you're wanting to do the full nail, you're, you would put the glue everywhere on the nail and really, really rub it. You can even go ahead and use one of these. It's just an eyeshadow um, applicator, one of those little cheapy things, and rub it so that it goes on the nail. And just keep rubbing and pressing and just every now and again checking to see if it's adhered to the nail. So I'm just going to have a little peek. Are you okay in there? Oh, oh, okay. We got some on there. So what I'm going to do is because I'm going to be adding also some of this one, I'm going to top coat that, a very light one, and then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go in with this one and so that we have, you know, a little bit of difference going on on the nail. 
Okay, so we've got a little bit on there in the middle. And I'm not sure if I'm loving it, you know. It's kind of like, looks like a bit like tin foil. I think I preferred the other one. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the other one. I'm changing my mind. I'm going back in with that. That is where it's at. Yeah, we're doing more of that. More glue. This is it. Last chance saloon. This is it. Now or never. Ride or die. Intense music. Start now. that little bit right there that's it that's it, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> okay well that doesn't look too bad I'm just really not liking this area here from this little fellow this little bit of tin foil I'm not liking that it'll look good on a different nail but that's not the effect I was going for <gasps> Okay, top coat. Top coat makes everything better. See, it doesn't look too bad. Like if you were having like a more of a dark gray nail set or like even plain black nails with this, yeah, I would wear that. Not too shabby. It's a bit of a party. This is probably the reason why I don't do other people's nails, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> things don't work out sometimes and I'm just like, no. And they're like, oh, but can I have a bit of that? No. No. Oh, can I have a black ombre? No. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> so, I just do what I want to do. <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out so I style it out with something else and pretend like I know what I'm doing <laughs> I help <laughs> right so for the final nail this was a four nail tutorial and with this one we're going to go back in with the grey that we have been using throughout this whole video and it's going to be I hate to say it another ombre to clear with glitter it'll be it'll be interesting so it's the final nail time da -da 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 -da. so we're going to put on the first coat bringing it down and then we're going to need you know it, you know it, you're like, you know, top student, the sponge. So I'm going to be, you know, I'm just going to use the other end of this sponge and just blend that down. Like so. And then I'm going to be going in with a little bit of this and a little bit of that match made in heaven beautiful okay so adding some of these on i'm gonna go sparingly to begin with we don't want to go crazy all of a sudden too quickly Okay, now I'm going to go in with that glittery gel polish. Now 
I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure. So I'm just going to go in and I'm not going to cover the whole thing. I'm just going to go in and just drag it down in like a swell and just build that up. Okay, so this is where we're at now with this nail and we're going to be adding a little bit more onto it because I don't know when to stop. You can definitely stop here, but I'm going to be adding some tape onto it. So what we're going to want to do is firstly find the end of the tape. So, eyes of an eagle. Um, whenever <gasps> oh, that one is it. No. Does it have an? <gasps> Found it. Good. Ah, Good. Got it. <laughs> right. So, we are going to place this tape onto the nail. Super easy. One like that. Let me get your scissors and just cut off the excess there and just give it a little push one there and we're going to do the same get some more tape and then do the same again a little bit harder this time because you're having to match up okay So you're going to want to add some top coat onto that nail now and then that is that nail finished and completed. Okay, so with that last nail I actually went ahead and done a matte top coat on either side and left the middle glossy and I kind of prefer it like that, you know, kind of like it. So that is the final nail finished. Okay, so that's all the nails finished and completed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And while you're there, don't forget to push the bell notification button so that you get notified next time I upload. And also leave a like and a comment. Tell me which nail was your favourite nail. And I will see you on the next video. Happy creating. Bye.